lorry's gone. The car's finally here, I'm so excited for it. Let's get the Merc back in the drive and let's get cracking. It's been two weeks since I think I bought the car. So to get it back here now, and have some fun with it. Woo! Here, baby. This is. Or go further into that and roll it out. Yeah, I can do that. Ooh, it's tight. Gonna do the same. Oh, she needs a good clean, huh? Yeah, I think cleaning it's the yeah. least of your problems. I reckon with a decent jump pack, that'll go. Yeah? Jump. What I did, I, I don't know if you've seen it, I'll take down the boot, yeah. and I opened it up. Yeah. To stop it shutting. Oh, yeah. probably, because. The front jump point is tricked, right. so it doesn't work. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. Go straight off the battery, it powers up. Yeah. My jump pad ain't man enough to start that. Okay, that's fine. That's your receipt, anyway. Naughty. Is that huh? the thing you had then, otherwise that would have been a bit peak Patrick. YouTube videos. <laughs> Just got to move his Merc real quick to get this lorry out of the way. I need a high vis on. Someone give me a high vis. Lorry's gone. The car's finally here. I'm so excited for it. Let's get the Merc back in the drive and let's get cracking. I'm gonna go to work. <laughs> So with regards to the future of this car, I really want to just restore it back to its kind of original condition, maybe add a few mods to it before I do any kind of cosmetics to the car. I want to get the mechanical side sorted so all of the frame needs to be bent back into the correct position and measured up correctly. And obviously all the components in the subframe need to be 100% and I need to change in and out whatever needs to be to make it mechanically sound. And then I can worry about after that the wings, the bumper, the bonnet. But yeah, that's my that's my goal for it really. It's just to get it back on the road, MOT it, and get it back to its living condition because this car, as you can tell, is filthy. So it must have been sat in the lot for weeks because it's absolutely covered in filth and you can tell where the rain's just like sat in it. So yeah, I'm gonna walk through the main problems that we got with this car and see what you think.
is a 2012 Audi A5 facelift black edition 2 litre TDI with 133,000 miles on the clock so I know that's a lot of mileage but it is a TDI and they're solid engines so hopefully we will be alright there a big upgrade on this car that I'm really liking is the flat bottom steering wheel normally they'd have a rounded steering wheel um, but this has got the S-Line package so it might have come with it but anyway, it makes the car look so much sportier than standard. It does need a little bit of TLC though. <laughs> Just a little bit. So, the bumper is completely destroyed. Don't think there's any fix in that, to be honest. The headlight is missing and the bracket for it is completely destroyed. The bumper has been completely crumpled, dented all in here and crumpled at the back here. There's no getting that back at the moment. The only problem with the bonnet is that it's got the stripe down the middle and yeah, so if I wanted to get another bonnet, I'd have to put the stripe up again or just take the stripe off completely off the car. The wing is completely ruined and torn off at the bottom and at the back here, it's pushed up against the door and subsequently the door has been damaged too. We've got some windscreen damage too. If you look down here, there's a bumper or something and it's cracked it. The wheels have seen better days. They're not the worst, however, they've got loads of chips and scratches on this side anyway from the crash and all over they've got a bit more. Now, it looks like the lower control arm has snapped. It could be something else, but I'm pretty sure it's the lower control arm. So once we get the car jacked up and looked under properly, we'll find out. Right, car's in properly now. It's gonna start to rain, so I thought before we crack on with the rest of the video, I'm gonna keep it covered up until the rain clears, so let's get this on. I don't think it really matters, but... Let's oh, just I do think it, it does, because there's literally holes yeah. for the wing mirror. Yeah. Okay. Wake up. Right, the car's not locking, so what I'm going to do, a little sneaky trick for Audis, press that button down, and it slides out an actual key, and then you can put that into the door lock. I'll see you again, Audi. Till next time. Snap. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's lunch time. Going to go out and uh, take the battery out of the car. Take a look at it now, we've got a bit more time. Classic British weather, it's still raining, so we'll see. Oh wait, that's not even a touch. <laughs> oh. oh, look. <laughs> they gave me something to fix my car with. You're gonna need a bit more than that. Right, so to get the battery off, we're going to need to take this bracket off and that's just a simple two bolts at the front and two bolts at the back, so let's get them off. Right, so that's the four bolts off. The bracket should just pop up easily. Yep. And then we can access the battery properly. That's a big boy. And a big battery too. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you get it? Mm. Oh, haha, <laughs> you're a big boy in the battery thing too. So at the back here, this is the airbag fuse. And basically when the airbags go off, that fuse blows and then it trips the battery. So it'll have basically really limited connection or really limited power from the battery to the rest of the car, which is why you can't start the car after the airbags have gone off. I'll just buy a new fuse, um, but I'll probably jump it first to make sure that it is that to start the car. And then after that, we can get a new fuse. I mean, I'm not gonna attempt to start the car until I've checked over the oil, the coolant, um, and everything else to make sure there's no leaks underneath. But anyway, Let's get the battery in and charge it. Right, that's gonna be everything for today's video. Hopefully in the next video, we're definitely gonna try and get the car running. The battery will be charged up. And yeah, so really excited to go forward with this. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go down and hit subscribe. It's gonna be a good journey and we're gonna have some good videos out of this and we've got plenty more projects coming up in the future. So please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.
Would you not say that that's a bit... Corny? Peak Patrick. 